Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's alright this morning. On our prayer request, pray for Peter. He's having breathing problems from the after effects of COVID. And pray for three-year-old Johanna. She had COVID and is having side effects also and breathing problems. Uh, pray for Karina. She's overwhelmed because of the COVID in her family. And Kathy and Brad need prayers for health issues they both have. Pray that things get better for them. Also pray for Kathy's mother. She's having many problems. Um, Barbara was in the ER all day the other day. Uh, she has bad congestion and a stomach bug. Pray she gets help so she can get better. Miss Southern Bell asks us to pray for people grieving over their loved ones. Becky goes to Vanderbilt Thursday for heart surgery. They're replacing a heart valve. Pray all goes well and that she'll be okay. Carlton isn't doing well. He's sleeping most of the time. His family is taking care of him. Pray he improves. Our scripture of the day comes from James 4, 7 through 17. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and pur purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. Brothers and sisters, do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against a brother or sister or judges them speaks against the law and judges it. When you judge the law, you are not keeping it, but sitting in judgment on it. There is only one lawgiver and judge, the one who is able to save and destroy. But you who are you to judge your neighbor. Now listen, you who say today or tomorrow will be will go to this or that city to spend a year there, carry on business, and make money. Why you do not even know what will happen tomorrow, what is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogant schemes, all such boasting is evil. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled Mortality and Humility. Ancient scholars Jerome and Tertullian reference stories of how in ancient Rome, after a general triumphed in an epic victory, he would be paraded atop a gleaming chariot down the capital's central thoroughfares from dawn to sunset. The crowd would roar. The general would bask in the adoration, reveling in the greatest honor of his life. However, legend has it that a servant stood behind the great general the entire day, whispering into his ears, Memento Mori, remember you will die amid all the adulation. The general desperately needed the humility that came with remembering that he was mortal. James wrote to a community infected with prideful desires and an inflated sense of self-sufficiency. Confronting their arrogance, he spoke a piercing word. God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. What they needed was to humble themselves before the Lord. And how would they embrace this humility? Like Roman generals, they needed to remember that they would die. You do not even know what will happen tomorrow, James insisted. You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. And owning their frailty freed them to live under the solidarity of the Lord's will rather than their own fading efforts. When we forget that our days are numbered, it can lead to pride. But when we're humbled by our mortality, we see every breath and every moment as grace. Memento Mori. What does the story of the Roman generals and the phrase Memento Mori say to you? Why do you need to remember your mortality? 
God, I like to think that my life is in my control. I sometimes act as though I'll live forever. Humble me. Help me find life only in you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press the like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great morning. I'll see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.